What's going on YouTube? Flashy here. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 Combat League video. Today, we're going to be playing with some Robocop. I've been saying this in a lot of the Robocop videos lately, but the more I play this character, man, the more I absolutely love this guy. I think even my last Robocop video was named something like, is this the most underrated character in MK? Like, Robocop is a ton of fun, man. And we got a really fun setup here. And we're going up against a Cassie. Interesting. You, like, never see these two characters. So we'll see what we can do here. We do have the low auto 9, the air charge, and then... What is it? Flamethrower is the last one, I'm pretty sure. I think that's a... Is that a custom move? I'm pretty sure it is. Regardless, though, we are the flamethrower because we have restands for days. Nice. Okay, go for the low overhead. Can I punish that? Oh, I can. Very nice. Okay, off to a really good start. And with the safety... Oh, I pressed. I'm gonna try to break away from that. Don't want to take all that damage. Okay, good blocks. Oh, I pressed again. There we go. That's a restand. That should close it out. Yes, it is. And that is why the flamethrower is so good. Let me just make sure. Is that the... Okay, it actually is, yeah. It is the ability equip move. But if you just go into that mid into flamethrower, it is like... This character is absolutely ridiculous. But, really good start so far from this Cassie. Go for low auto 9. Hit the grab. Also has crushing blows on his throws, like... Robocop's honestly got everything. I feel like now Robocop's getting a little bit more popular because people are like, wait, this character's actually ridiculous. Like, a ton of safety. Oh, I can't. I can't jump in at all. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was supposed to be a down one. But I go right underneath. Oh, that should have been a crush, actually. He's got all the zoning you could ever want. Oh, and the crush. And he's got, like, really, really cool up-close combos with forward threes and restands and stuff like that. You really can't go wrong with Robocop, man. You cannot. Into the flamethrower, and that's gonna close- Oh, I don't even need the flamethrower. That's gonna close out game one. We'll take that. And it looks like they weren't feeling the Cassie pick, so they're gonna switch over to Raiden. I've been seeing a lot of Raidens lately. This is kind of interesting. Back when I was playing Raiden, nobody was touching Raiden with the staff that he has. But now everybody's playing Raiden, which is cool to see. I'm happy that he's finally getting the limelight. But this is about Robocop, which another character I'm really happy about getting the limelight. Of course, he doesn't have, like, the flashiest of combos, but if you get this flamethrower restand, Combined with these unbelievable projectiles that he has, like, this character is a force to be reckoned with. Wow, these down twos. Okay, what's the mix? The grab. Oh, I pressed the button on my wake up. Alright, so the switch to Raiden is actually doing pretty good for them. Oh, we got the restand. Do not press the button. Do not press the button. I told him not to. I told him not to. Go for the grab. Escape failed. Okay, we do have some crushing blows on our throws. But this is exactly where Robocop wants to be. Just like that, we'll take that as well. Is this the combo? Yes, it is. Okay, you do stand four into low auto nine. I couldn't remember the down two combo, but that's a good 35% right there. Teleport? Yes. Into the flamethrower resend. Don't press. Okay, good. It didn't press. We do still have our throw crush, so we're going to be looking for that. We also have a forward two, one, two crush as well for some good damage. Nice grab. We're kind of just letting them take all this pressure while we get our meter back because Robocop, we need that meter. Overhead. Went up three. Hey, okay, nothing there. Can I get the grab, please? Escape failed. We probably just got to go for it. Let's just even up the health lead here. Because they're taking a lot of throws, so I don't want to mess around with that. There we go. Okay. They've been blocking a lot. So we'll go for the... Oh, the one time. The one time I went for a grab. I can't believe that. Okay, nothing there. That's a big punish. Okay, I'm not going to go for the grab. I'm going to go for the mid. There we go. And that's going to close it out. And that just goes to show the power of Robocop with this variation. You can make it even deadlier by going with the command grab instead of the air charge. Because I know I'm not using the air charge too much. I kind of just use it as like a get me out of here mobility option just in case. But man, this character is nuts. All right, set number two. We got ourselves a Shiva. Wow. When do you ever see these matchups? Robocop versus Cassian Raiden. Now Robocop versus Shiva. This is an interesting video. But I have not fought against a Shiva pretty much since she got her nerfs on the Dragon Stomp. Are they even using it? No, they're not even using it. So, I don't know. This is going to be weird. I know she's got a couple of overheads and lows and things like that. So hopefully, we don't get caught by too many of them, but we should be able to figure this one out. Well, let's jump back and go into the charge. Usually, that tends to work, but that didn't work that time. Okay, right into the grab. They're looking for the sweeps, and they're doing grabs. So, maybe not too combo heavy here. Got that combo as well. Got the grab. So far, so good. Oh, I didn't go with the alternate color. I always usually go for alternate because that green is such a sick move. Or such a sick color. I was thinking about the that stomp that she just did. <laughs> That's why I said move. But so far, so good. Are they going to go for it? They're just going to hold block and then go into Fatal Blow round one. They believe in the comeback. I can't believe that just worked, but 
Let's see what happens here, I guess. That's gonna take us down to 650, 630. Oh, we caught that. Okay, this should close it out if this hits. Are they gonna go for the stomp? Yeah. That's gonna be it. Okay, we'll take that round. Yeah, the stomp is its just not as crazy as it was, which is a good thing. I mean, it was taking over Combat League and Mortal Kombat in general. Went for the short hop up in there. Okay, got the low. Try to catch them pressing on wake up. Oh, these grabs are working though. These grabs are definitely working. Up threes. Oh, I thought I teched it. They always do forward throw as well. It's never the back throw. Okay, that's a punish. Into restand. Do not press a button. All right, smart. Got the grab though. Escape failed. We could close this out. There's a little bit more chip and then a grab and we're all done here. Oh, nice. They just hold block and wait for you to come up to them. That's going to be it. We're going to close it out with the crush. Game one of set number two in the bag. Here we go. Game number two. They haven't really done too much. I mean, just like a couple of sweeps, some grabs. I haven't seen any mix or anything like that. So we'll take that. Oh, they pressed on the last hit. There we go. Another restand. They have been blocking, so we'll go for the grab now. That's the crazy thing about the flamethrower restand. You can literally do all oh, the quitality. Oh my goodness, we will take that. Yeah, we were just walking them down. And we were able to get the quitality with Robocop. Listen, if that doesn't give you guys enough of a reason to play this character, I don't know what will. You gotta try him out. He's a ton of fun. This variation is really good too. Please be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm gonna see you all in the next one.